So you're thinking about moving to Palmdale. Let me show you what it's really like. Palmdale is part of Los Angeles County. And as you can see, it's just situated right over here and a little bit over there. And oh, there we go. There's Palmdale. And if we go just a little bit further north, we have the county line and we're over in Kern County. So Palmdale is right on the edge of Los Angeles County. And because of its isolation, it loses some of the things that Los Angeles has to offer. Palmdale has restaurants, it has entertainment, there are fun things to do on the weekend, but on the scale that Los Angeles offers it, the Palmdale-Lancaster area does not compete. So when you're moving here, freeway access is incredibly important. Palmdale is a very wide and spread out area. So you can find some wonderful homes that might have a 30 minute commute just to get to the freeway. And if you're already a commuter on top of that, and you have to drive down to the Santa Clarita, San Fernando, or one of these other cities down in Los Angeles, that extra commute time really adds up. If we zoom in here on the 14 freeway, Palmdale spreads out over here to the left as West Palmdale, and there's actually a street right here called Division Street, and over here on the right, we have East Palmdale. For freeway access, if you come over here, this is 30th Street West, you're looking at maybe a 5-10 minute commute to the freeway. But if you're over here maybe on 70th Street or 80th Street, you're going to be looking at extra time to get to the freeway. And same goes over here on the east. But on the east, there's this cool little road called Pear Blossom Highway, which is kind of a little shortcut across the valley and to the 14 freeway. So you can actually get a little bit further east if you live in East Palmdale and still have relatively quick access to the freeway and to go down south. Palmdale is located in the high desert and for anyone who hasn't lived here before, let me tell you what that means. It gets hot during the summer. It's a dry heat. We don't have a lot of the humidity. There is a little humidity when it rains, which is incredibly infrequent. During the winter, it gets cold. Not freezing cold, but it does get below freezing, few days, few nights, you need jackets. The other thing that people don't always expect when they move up here is the wind. Palmdale is a windy area. A lot of times I find in the morning, it's nice and calm, then around noon, it starts to pick up. And I'm not talking about like a little breeze, Sometimes it gets so windy, it knocks over semi-trucks. As you can see right here, this is just outside of Palmdale, but there are huge wind farms all around the hills here. The other thing you're gonna see everywhere are solar farms. They're just about everywhere. In the spring, we have beautiful weather. The poppies are off the hook, but let's be honest, Lancaster probably has the best poppies, but that's just right next door. The weather is mild. It's great to just get outside and do things every day. Same with fall, but I find that fall tends to be a little bit windier and honestly a little bit on the hotter side than spring. So what the heck is there to even do out here? Well, Palmdale has a lot of cool things to offer you. In fact, I run an Instagram entirely dedicated to things to do out here in Palmdale. We have freeze dried candy stores, cool restaurants, little festivals, children's play areas, climbing wall karate areas, paint and sip nights, Christmas light festivals, cool little breweries. There is a little bit of everything out here for you. If you wanted to, there's probably something you could do locally almost every weekend. Palmdale is also home to the only actual mall out here in the Antelope Valley. So if you're looking for shopping, Palmdale's got you covered. They have the mall, they have Sprouts, Trader Joe's, basically everything you can think of. So where should you actually live if you're gonna move over here? Earlier, I talked about freeway access, and that is important if you're commuting down. If you're gonna be working local, like at one of the aerospace industries, or maybe commuting up to the Air Force Base, it's a little bit different. Palmdale is broken up into kind of three areas. You have a lower home price, a medium home price, and a higher home price. There's also uh, a higher, higher home price level. We'll call that the elite home prices. But honestly, right now on the market, our highest price home is 2.5 million, and that's at the extreme high end. Compared to the rest of Los Angeles County, Palmdale is one of the most affordable areas you can actually live in. Home prices right now are about four to 500,000, depending where you live. You can obviously go up or down from there, 
but that's about the average. So first off, let's go on the high end. Not super high elite level. That's going to be over here with the Lakeview homes. These are like the really high end, really expensive homes. Next, you have Ana Verde over here. It's a little community that prides itself on being like a little bit of a fancier area. So we have the West Side Palmdale. And homes over here really vary. There's some gated community areas. There are some uh, more affordable home areas. There's some older areas. There's some brand new new builds, especially right over here by Highland High School. There's some really cool new uh, homes they're building. Um, but over here, we typically have the west side of Palmdale. Homes here are usually on the more expensive side when we look at Palmdale overall. Over here, we have middle Palmdale. Homes here tend to be a little bit uh, more affordable. Homes here tend to be a little bit more densely packed. You have the apartment buildings and a lot of the government buildings here too. And then lastly, we have like the Far East Palmdale. So this uh, area is a little bit higher priced than like this middle section, but usually not as high priced as the West side. You also start to get into like more ranch style uh, homes out here and homes with more land. If you're gonna be commuting down to Los Angeles, you'll probably be taking Pear Blossom Highway down to the 14. If you're gonna be working in aerospace, most of the aerospace areas are right in this blue area. So typically people usually live over here on the west side and commute over or commute up. You just wanna think about if you're like all the way down here by like Pear Blossom Highway and Fort Tejone, like that's a little bit of like a, a commute here versus if you're like right over here off of like Palmdale Boulevard and 10th Street, like that commute is a lot faster. If you're gonna be working at Edwards Air Force Base, you're gonna be taking the 14 North. You won't hit any traffic, but once again, if you're not close to the freeway, you might have a little bit of drive time to the freeway. But because your commute is relatively close, maybe freeway access isn't as important to you because you're not commuting as long as people who are driving down to Los Angeles. So let's talk about some of my favorite neighborhoods in all of Palmdale. Some of my favorite neighborhoods are right over here along Palmdale Boulevard. You can see this little blue line, this is the aqueduct. And because of that, the area is raised in elevation compared to the rest of the Antelope Valley. The only other hill in the Antelope Valley is literally Quartz Hill, and there's just like five fancy houses on it. But over here by the aqueduct, there are a few different housing tracks that are actually raised up, which gives you a great view of all of the Antelope Valley. And that's also true over here along Palmdale Boulevard. The mountains start to come up. There's a few different housing tracks that are raised and you get some beautiful views from those houses. Another spot I like is 25th and Pear Blossom Highway. You have quick access along Pear Blossom Highway to the freeway to get around. You're a little bit outside of the rest of town. You also have the hills here. You get some beautiful scenery, some beautiful views, and you have quick access to shopping and all your other amenities. If you have any other questions about moving to Palmdale, leave me a comment down below and I'll see how I can help you out.